I found it in the house. It's my dad's, and he says it used to be in his late uncle's house. It's at least 60 years old with a wooden handle, and it seems made of brass. What is this thing? It's called a butler. You empty ashtray contents into this. I found an unusual object affixed to several of my electrical outlets. It is a slender white plastic box, which is aged to a cream color, featuring rounded corners on the left side and a straight edge on the right, resembling a saw cut. I have encountered this item in multiple residences across Australia, all exhibiting the same halved appearance. In this particular instance, it is located in a bedroom and obscures one of the screws for the outlet, preventing the removal of the socket without first detaching this enigmatic object. Anyone know what this is? This is landline telephone socket. In the 1960s, Telecom Australia, now Telstra, introduced a new range of color phones with associated 605-610 plugs and sockets. This plug-socket combination is still in use in the majority of customer sites throughout Australia. The 605 plug has either four or six connectors, mating with 610, 611, or 612 sockets. Conductor connection use quick connect crimps. The 610 socket accepts 603, 605, or 606 plugs. It has six connectors with screw terminals used to terminate premises cable. I found these items at my friend's house. They are approximately bullet-shaped, featuring a cut or carved stone base, a thin copper band in the center, and a black top that could potentially be lead. Their sizes range from one half inch to three quarters inch. I have brought them to an appraisal and identification fair, consulted with an antiques and vintage reseller, and visited a gun shop, but no one at those places was able to help. Anyone know what this is? Those are crown dies for making dental crowns. The teeth are trimmed down and impressed. The model is poured up into stone, the individual tooth that is having the crown made is cut out of the model. I found an item small made by Darkwood Shiny. It's very heavy for its size. It spins a little. Uh, the screw sticking out does nothing. It looks like a part from a boat, but I can't find exact match. Any ideas what this thing is? It's a Capstan Sands winch. It for the slewing lines of the derrick and used for hoisting pods. That for smaller sailboats, these winches often don't need a crank because muscle is enough to haul the line. They just ratched so they take the pressure on needed to keep the line in place. I found this item buried in the dirt in California. It appears to be carved from a type of bone. The front is very hard, resembling rock, while the porous back is brittle and prone to breaking. It is an extremely old carving of a woman's head with a tapered neck that suggests it may have once fit into another object. I suspect it may represent a Japanese geisha, although I cannot confirm this with certainty. What is this thing? This is a piece of furniture decorated on classic Chinese black lacquer cabinet. It have all in mother of pearl, a shell, I found a collection of chrome and brass tubes, each measuring two to three inches in length. The collection consists of seven pieces of varying lengths, housed in a trapezoidal tin box. Each piece is a brass tube with a small hole at the base. Inside each tube is a stainless steel leg that is hinged in the center, and one end of this leg has a threaded hole. The chrome tubes fit into the brass tubes and are hinged at the midpoint, featuring a bulbous tip both the chrome and brass components are hollow, with the brass tube having two holes on one side. One of these holes allows the end of the chrome tube to sit nearly flush. The only markings are three initials on the tin box. Any ideas what this thing is? This is O'Dwyer intubation set. It used for maintaining the patient's breathing in the operating room and also provides support during critical care. I found an item in the glove box of a used car I bought. It has a makeshift metal handle soldered to the end of an 11 millimeter wrench socket with a metal skirt soldered to the other end of the socket. Additionally, there's a rubber guard on one end of the presumed handle 
and the socket is off center underneath the metal skirt. I'd imagine you might use this in a bind if you need to use the socket and don't have a ratchet handy. What is this thing? It's a 1992 Buick used wire hubcap lock nut tool. I found a metal clip in the garage. The clip measures approximately four centimeters in length and three centimeters in width. It features a cursive inscription that appears to read PRS trademark, indicating it is trademarked. While I am uncertain about the specific material, it is magnetic. What is this thing? This is PRG hat clip, milled. I found an object near a dilapidated trailer and some other abandoned machinery in the woods. It is a small rusty metal item measuring approximately 2.5 by 4 by 2 inches with ALCU inscribed on the back. The marbled and black components appear to be made of plastic. While I am uncertain of its age, it seems to have been in that location for several years. Any idea what this is made for? This is 50 amp, 250 volt, NEMA 10 to 50 R, surface mount power outlet, single straight blade range and dryer outlet non-grounding, black. I found a small stainless steel component within the catch tray of a commercial kitchen dishwasher. It features an interior plunger valve for flow control and has a 3 8 hex hole on the opposite end. There are minor signs of calcification around the raised edge of the unit. Additionally, there is a small pin that is flush with one end, which when depressed allows for the flow of air or water. Despite my research into pressure valves, relief switches, flow valves, and similar components, I have not been able to identify its purpose. I even located an exploded view of the commercial dishwasher from which it was removed, but this part was neither listed in the parts catalog nor depicted in any of the diagrams. Anyone know what this is? It's the end piece for a water drip for small pets. Guinea pig, rabbit glass waterer, hamster, sugar glider. I found an open rectangle on the armrest chair at the beach. It features a strap for carrying on the back, a cup holder on one side, and lacks a pouch. I was unable to find any similar items on Google that include umbrellas on the armrest. Any idea what this is made for? This is a rough cut hole where a black plastic part inserted that can hold a book or a phone or sunglasses.